the next step is the pressure head calculation uh, go back to the Bernoulli's law so we have calculated the velocity the head losses and then we need to calculate this uh, pressure head at point one so um, either we can in this case it gives you 100 psi pressure head uh, that is added by this pump so either you could use this or uh, this same thing actually the pressure head uh, is equal to p by gamma so they are basically same thing for this particular problem so you just add one of them not two so let's just see how to calculate that this file become really large not moving as fast as i wish so um we know that the uh, let me go up a little bit so gum uh, head is p by gamma the pump is adding 100 psi and the water is pumping water which is 62.4 pound per feet cube so if I just expand all these units, it's going to be PSI is pound per inch. And then I got 1 by 62.4, which is um, pound per feet cube. So pound goes here, feet cube goes on there. Now this pound, pound cancel. Uh, this was in PSI, pounds per square inch. Now I got to cancel that inch is square. I know that 12 inch is one foot and then whole square that because it is square so i have calculated this pressure head to be uh, what is that number let's pause so i have got uh two thirty point seven seven feet of water so that's the pump head